All right, for FEP Hydraulics Chapter 6, Homework Problem 3, we're told that water is ponded above a graded area inlet in a roadside ditch. The effective weir length around the grate is 9.4 feet. The clear orifice opening is 4.5 feet squared. If the water ponded is 1.2 feet deep, what is the flow rate through the grate? So we're given information as if this is an orifice or a weir. Uh, with that ponding, I usually think orifice, so I'm going to start off solving for my orifice. Uh, but I'll also solve for weir as well. So for my orifice, I'll go ahead and use my orifice equation. That Q is equal to my coefficient of discharge times my area times the square root of 2G times that height from the centroid to the top of the water. I'm told that 1.2 feet deep, so I'm going to use that for my H here. So my coefficient of discharge not told, so I'll use the default of 0.6. The area I am told is 4.5 feet squared for the clear orifice opening. And then it's the square root of 2 times 32.2 feet per second squared. Gravity times that H, which I'm going to assume is 1.2 feet. Go ahead and solve all that, and I do get 23.7 cubic feet per second for that inlet acting as an orifice. But let's go ahead and solve for a weir as well, because we are told an effective weir length. So that's my orifice. For my weir flow, I would have my weir co uh, equation where I have my uh, coefficient of my weir times the length of the weir, and then that height to the three halves. So I'm going to assume this is a free fall weir roadside ditch. So my weir coefficient is going to be 3.0. So it's 3 times that length of the weir given to me 9.4 feet times that height of 1.2 feet raised to the 3 half power. And so that does give me a flow rate of 37.1 cubic feet per second for that inlet behaving as a weir.